hello everyone welcome back so now the time is to build our to do's app so first we need to need a fresh installation of laravel so what is the latest version of laravel so it's laravel 9 so how you can install this so you need to make run this simple command composer create project and you need, don't need to define any project uh, version so if you want to uh, install this in the lowest version so after this laravel you need to define your version and then it will install the specific version but if you want to get the latest version you can watch this uh, you can run this without any version so it will install it will pull the laravel 9 for you so i have installed this project and uh, my project is running here so it's laravel 9 so before jumping to the to do's app we are going to first build the authentication system so do you know that how we can install the authentication system in the laravel 9 so let's get started so i have opened my project in the terminal so let me type this command and then we are going to first install the laravel ui package and uh, during its installation i will discuss that why i am installing this laravel ui package so you need to type composer require laravel ui so it will, it will install the laravel ui package for you okay so i'm using this laravel ui package because it's very simpler and it's so uh, easy to customize this laravel ui package and it's also simple for new users so that's why i'm installing this laravel ui package so others are also simpler but uh, they are complex when you are customizing them okay so it's so uh, installed successfully and then what is the next command next command you need to on this php artisan and then you need to type ui bootstrap we are going to use the bootstrap so if you are going to use view so you need to type here view okay so i'm going to use the bootstrap that's why i'm typing the bootstrap and then you need to put the double flag and type auth so we are going to uh, scaffold this okay it says already because i already run this command so what is the next step i'm typing this yes and uh, let me make this no no <laughs> why it's not terminating this to replace it no no okay i need to type no many times uh, let me close this and uh, here you need to install the npm so npm is a package uh, node.js package manager so before uh, installation of npm you, uh, your system uh, you should install the node.js setup okay so i have already installed so if you are not familiar with this one so you can go to the visit the node.js website and download this node.js okay and just install this node.js so it will uh, automatically by default configure so you don't need to configure the npm path and here you need to type uh, npm install and it will install the npm for you and then after this we need to execute one more command and then our laravel ui package is there so let me configure my database so uh, i have opened php my admin and i don't have any database so let's go here and create a new database so we are going to to do's uh, build a to do's app so that's why i'm naming this to do's app like this okay so i'm creating this simple database i'm just creating this database here but i will create its stable from the migrations right so let's go to the project and in the project here i'm going to uh, save this to do's app and uh, we are in the laravel 9 so our server is automatically restarted and uh, this npm will take some time so we are going to migrate our database right so go here and let me clear this out so what is, what is the command used for migration so it's a php artisan migrate so it will migrate to your default column so let me open this uh, database migrations and these ones so these ones used for uh, by default comes with the laravel installation so migrate it will create these column in the database and yes it's completed successfully go to the uh, database give it a refresh and it will create these the folder will be there uh, not folder it's a tables so we are in the to do's app so click on it and uh, wait for a moment to complete this process it's still loading and yes uh, the fifth table are created the users personal access token and stuff like that so we are going to interact with this users right 
so let's go here and give it a refresh so our ui system will not scaffold uh, no it's scaffold but uh, it's not uh, style sheets and uh, js uh, files are not mixed so we are going to mix them from this npm package so first we are going to install the npm and then we are going to run npm run dev so after this uh, uh, successful completion i will meet you uh, again okay so npm is successfully installed so now the time is to run this npm run dev so it will uh, uh, create what's it's going to create so let me open the public directory and there is no directory of css and js so it's going to go to the resources so let me uh, first view uh, you that uh, how it's going to work so we are going to when we run this npm run dev or npm run prod so it will going to this uh, webpack mix.js file and here we define that uh, go to the resources and go to the js so let me open this here go to this js and uh, find this app.js and copy this uh, js file into public and inside the public create a js directory and in the js create uh, app.js so for now it's not created why because our command is in the execution execution process okay and what's the next so this one is used for css so it's going to the resources size so let me open this here so it's uh, resources says and app.scs so it's uh, copying this scs files and going to the public uh, and in the public it's going to create a css directory and in the css it's going to app do, dot uh, generate the app.css file okay so let's wait for a moment to complete this and then our directory will be there so let me open this here and yes it's finished but uh, uh, we did not run this through this dev we did not save this so loader is remaining so we need to run this to install this loader again so same command you need to run this npm install and it will install it again this loader and then you need to type npm run dev so then it will uh, install this quickly and now it's going to uh, mix these uh, files and uh, let's take eye on this uh, public directory so it will put them here and yes now it says that uh, uh, our mix is completed and uh, css and app.js is there so our style sheets are there so let's go here and run our project okay so what is the command it's a php artisan serve so i'm running this locally okay so go to the project refresh it and check that our laravel ui is working or not so go here register a new user using fake filler chrome extension and register this user and yes we are returned to the home and redirected to the home and this is the dashboard so we are successfully logged in so in this video we installed our laravel ui package so in the next we are going to build the to do's app so i will meet you in the next one bye bye